get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's good, Stella? Gang! It's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Right now, this is not a reaction. This right here is just like a PSA, basically. You feel me? It's a message to the viewers and the rappers. Right? Let's get these things straight. Let's get it straight. I might pause sometimes to think, you know, I don't do this editing shit. So I won't be doing mad edits and jump cuts like everybody else. Because I ain't really into that. We try to keep it as mo as authentic as possible. You feel me? The edits that I do is just to enhance shit. It's not to cut out mistakes or make me look like I'm so perfect behind the camera. Because I am not a newscaster and like shit. Y'all see, y'all watch, if y'all watch my shit, y'all niggas know what's going on. Y'all niggas know I keep it real authentic on here. But, anyways, I gotta address certain shit. Like, recently, I did a reaction to MVK. That shit did 25,000 views in 20 hours or some shit like that. Right? Boom. I made a little joke on the gram. I'm like, let. I made my best friend shit shoot. You feel me? Cause everybody who's really subscribed to me for a minute knows was what they know. They would understand the joke. Like they would know. Like oh shit, this nigga upper. He being silly. You feel me? Niggas that understand the joke off the rip. You got little clowns in the comment section. Like yo. Oh yo, bro, you did crowd and oh yo, he been had clout. He he gave you clout. You feel me? Then every time I respond to a fan or because I like to I like to respond because I'm not a I'm not a robot and I'm not one of those people that's oh I'm not giving niggas clout. I'm not giving you know, if I see something and like I feel some type of way or I feel like I wanna respond, I'm gonna respond. It ain't no oh sometimes you gotta ignore niggas. It ain't none of that, nigga. I'm not ignoring shit. If I don't wanna ignore it, and ain't nobody can tell me ignore it. I don't care about all that professional shit niggas be talking about. Nigga, I didn't get lit off of being professional. I got lit off of being myself. I got lit because I brought a different element to this platform. Because everybody else is ass kisses. And everybody else is this fake ass newscaster when they get behind the camera. I'm not that. So that's why people tune into my shit. If you mean these niggas in the comment section talk about... Oh, he been at a club. All right, then I post in response, post a screenshot. Like, look, he did this much views in four hours. And within four hours, no, within five hours, because I dropped my reaction five hours after. Within five hours, he had 4.8 thousand views, right? 4.8, that's five hours. And he been, he just, he came home recently. Everybody know the, like, the whole, basically, hype behind him dropping a song right now would be the fact that he just came home. But, so crazy that he came home, and a lot of people didn't even know he came home. I knew he came home. You feel me? Some of my fans knew he came home, too, because they hit me up on the gram when he came home and shit, because he posted on the story. Or whatever. Now, niggas like, all right, boom. He gave me views. No. Technically, right now, me and him is like, me and him, like, real talk, that's my best friend now. Because me and him, we make good content. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We make good content. Because the incident we had make people want to watch the content I put out with him more than every other content. Just of the fact that they feel like, you feel me, that I'm so biased that I'm going to give him a lower... Like, people fiend to see what I'm going to say. And I know this. You dig what I'm saying? But, who should? I don't give a shit. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, niggas in the comment section with the foolery and shit. So I got to address niggas in the comment section with foolery. Numbers don't lie. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. 
You feel what I'm saying? Within three minutes of me dropping the reaction, right? Because I premiered it. So within three minutes, when the premiere was ended, within three minutes of the premiere ending, that shit had 1.1K within three minutes. And that's on my mother. When that shit ended, that shit had 1.1K views, bro. The premiere had 500 people watching at once. It was like I was live or something. People was on the shit tuning, watching it. It did numbers. So many people went and watched that video because of me. They went and watched this video because of me. And y'all niggas like to say stupid shit in the comment section. Like, oh, you, you're doing this for clout. You're doing this for clout. I'm a businessman at the end of the day. I know how to capitalize on things that makes me money. If it makes me money, why wouldn't I do it? Stupid. Dumbass niggas. Y'all niggas that go looting to go sell shit back, right? During a protest, y'all go looting, right? Same niggas looting want to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. Like, boy, are you dumb? This, this is a business I'm doing. This is business. This ain't personal. This is business. I really, like, really and truly, I really don't care about this nigga like that. Like, we just had that one incident. And to me, that show was over. Within that same month, the incident happened till he, you know, said other shit. And then it made it a little bit bigger than what it was. Then his mans and them said some shit. Then it made it more bigger. So it seemed like it was just like, oh, I forgot this big vendetta with all the folk niggas. But in all actuality, like, I really care less about niggas. You dig what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all be in the comment section talking about a lot of other shit too. Oh, yeah. And, um... I don't need to see nobody in my comment section with the Costamato shit no more. Me and Costamato met tonight. You feel me? That shit out the window. You dig what I'm saying? He came to an event where my dog's done was there and niggas called me up. And I pulled up. Niggas met. He said he don't got no problems. It's out the window. He don't care about that shit. Whoa, whoa. So I don't want to see nobody in the comment section. Oh, yeah. God. That shit is done. You feel me? All that shit is done. I had to throw that in there too because niggas like to say all this shit in the comment section and shit. That's done. All right? Um, what else? What else I got to touch on? Pause. Um, Yeah. It ain't, ain't, ain't too much to say. You want a reaction, you got to pay. A lot of you niggas hit me up. Yo, bro, yo, you think you could react to my song? Yeah, I could react to your song. Yo, here go the link. Then I send niggas the price. What? Nah, you bugging. Nigga, I'm bugging. How the fuck I'm bugging? You hit me up. Nigga, I ain't hit you up. You hit me up. Obviously, you hit me up because you felt like it was worth your music being on my channel. Nigga, you wanted my fan base to see your music. That's why you hit me up. So if you don't got that money for me, don't talk to me, nigga. Go talk to the videographers that you pay to put your... Because y'all niggas don't... Them videographers not hitting y'all niggas up like, oh yeah, you rap good. Let me just upload on my platform for you. But when I upload it, it says that a, a whole different cameraman from me shot the video. Come on, bro. Niggas be uploading on Raps on Hustle and the shit say bliggity or... Oh, Niggas upload on Flotastic and the shit say fucking, um, what's the other nigga name? Fuck that nigga name. But say some other nigga name, you know what I'm saying? Like real nigga shit. Y'all niggas paying $300 to upload y'all song, bro. Y'all paying $300 to upload. Sometimes y'all pay $300 to upload y'all song on Flotastic. I be laughing like, yo, Flotastic didn't shoot this video. This nigga paid to upload this video. All he did was 3,000 views in 10 days. How you did 3,000 views in 10 days on a new video? A new song that you just paid money for to shoot the video. You feel me? You paid money for your fit. You paid money to re, um, record the song in the studio, and you paid to upload it on Flotastic, and you got 3,000 views. You paid 300 to get 3,000 views. So what was it, 100, 1,000 views? Come on, bro. $100, 8,000 views? Seriously, bro? Come on, so sometimes you niggas don't even understand this. I react to songs, right? And people 
go over to that person page if they like the song. Now you got a new fan. You dig what I'm saying? I react to songs and my fan base hear it. Because I don't only react to Brooklyn reactions. Some of y'all be saying that. Y'all niggas is so stupid. Some of y'all be saying that. I do reactions to niggas. I did Florida reactions. I did Miami. I said Florida, Miami. I did Florida reactions. I did England reactions. I did Canadian reactions. I did Atlanta reactions. I did mad different places. You feel me? Y'all just choose to watch what y'all want to watch. That's the thing. Y'all miss certain shit because... Y'all don't watch all the videos. Y'all want to watch. All right. Yo, he be arguing with these rappers. Let me see what he got to say. Oh, yo, he be arguing with this. Let me let me tune in because it's going to be spicy. It's going to be funny. going to be trying to clown niggas and shit like that. Y'all watch for those reasons. Sometimes I do a reaction to a nigga. The nigga could be from another country, but he fire. Y'all would choose not to watch it because y'all want to watch the same people. All right. You want to watch me react. To, the, to a song you basically heard already, right? You heard the shit, but you want to see what I got to say about it, right? Why don't you try to hear new music too? I might be reacting to a nigga that's fire from somewhere else. Tune into that too. Watch that too. See what I got to say about that too. You might find a new artist to put on your playlist. Feel me? Y'all niggas be want to watch what y'all want to watch. And then it seems like now all of y'all got an agenda in y'all head. Anytime you react to a folk nigga song... We're going to tune in so we could talk shit in the comments. Hopefully, he will read my comment and respond to me because he be responding to people. So hopefully, he read my comments and respond to me. Like, yo, bro, I don't care about you niggas that much, bro. Like, you hating niggas. Not my supporters. You hating niggas. I don't care about y'all that much, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Some of y'all be in y'all head. Oh, y'all be saying, oh, you're not even that big, bro. You acting like you, you the littlest. Yo, bro. You're going to tell me I'm not even that big. The, a lot of the rappers that y'all niggas listen to, I got more subscribers than they do on their own page. Remember that. Some of the some of the niggas who been doing all these, like some of the cameramans that shoot niggas videos, they do not get subs as fast as I do. You feel me? Like, you got to understand. This channel, my first upload on this channel was December 2018. December 2018 and that was like December that was like the ending of December or some shit right so which means like I started uploading on this channel basically 2019 we're in 2020 right we're halfway to through 2020 so within a year and a half I got damn near 30k subscribers bro and I had a channel before that got terminated this is my new channel it got damn near 30 Come on, bro. That niggas talking about niggas is not that lit, bro. Numbers don't lie, bro. Numbers do not lie. And the fact that I got 20-something thousand subscribers. All right. I got 20-something thousand subscribers. Let me show you something. But more. But I right, let's say I got 26,000 subscribers, right? So you're telling me all 26,000 of my subscribers watch that video? That MVK shit? Because it got like shit. Let me see. <coughs> Let me see. I'll tell y'all right now. Cause I like to be feel me on point with what I'm saying. That shit got 28,000, almost 30,000. I got I got 26.7 thousand subscribers. So I got basically 27,000 subscribers, right? So you tell me all my subscribers watch that video. No dummy. Mad people that watch my channel on the regular but didn't subscribe watching that video. So you see 27,000 subscribers and you thinking I'm not that big, but I'm way bigger than you think because more than more than like more than my subscribers show, people watch my shit. More than 27,000 people watch my shit. All the time. They just don't want to subscribe for whatever hate and reason they got. It might be a folk nigga that's like, oh, he be arguing with folks. Nah, I can't fuck with him. I'm not subscribing to his shit. But you watch my shit all the time. So it's not, it don't make no difference if you subscribe or not. You watch me all the time. You're doing what a subscriber would do. You watch, you like or dislike and comment. You do what a subscriber would do. So you might as well subscribe because you look like a bozo because you holding feelings. Like, I'm not subscribing. I'm not going to make him look more lit than he is. You look like a bozo. Because what's going to happen? Sooner or later, I'm going to keep getting bigger. And then that, that day going to come with you too. The hater becomes a fan. Because I got so big to the point where it's like, oh shit. Can't beat him. Join him. 
Because guess what? A lot of y'all niggas gonna start ass kissing when I stop doing reaction to y'all shit. Y'all gonna start ass kissing like, oh, this nigga feel like he lit now. Oh, he don't wanna do niggas reactions though. No. Nah. -uh. You're gonna feel like a bozo because you built, you you burnt the bridge and you didn't even cross it yet. You burnt the shit while you're in the middle of it. Bozo, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. You're burning the bridge while you're in the middle. You didn't even get across yet. You burnt the shit. Bozo. You just gotta start using your head. I've been putting on for the city and I've been keeping everybody entertained. Whether or not I argue with somebody or I. I embarrass somebody or I cut their ass. Y'all niggas gotta stop being so emotional too. How y'all niggas are gangster rappers rapping about murdering people and spinning blocks and shooting ops, but you a bitch. How you you act like a girl? Niggas say something that hurts your feelings. You wanna argue. You wanna be, oh, I'm gonna kill this nigga. Fuck him, he pussy. Bro, come on, my nigga. Chill out. Chill out. Is that the end of the day, bro? Y'all niggas isn't even. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't even like that, B. You hear what I'm saying? Y'all niggas not even like that. I see a lot of niggas. Yo, it's so crazy. So many people say they hate me in the comment section, but every time I run into someone that sees me for YouTube in the open, outside, they tell me they're a fan or they're a supporter. So what's going on? It's either the people that are hating and talking shit, it's either they're not from my area or they're not even from Brooklyn and they just talking shit or they the cops just talking shit or they just pussy talking shit it's three things bro you a cop you 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 a op but you pussy or you from and then another thing talk about ops you ain't my op if I don't know what you look like bro Y'all niggas be bugging <laughs> how you my op I don't know what you look like and then niggas be like yo I seen you I seen this nigga, he ain't do shit. Bro, how I'm supposed to do something to you? I don't even know who you is, fam. You look like a regular pedestrian. What the fuck I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to have a, you with this shit, you know, like Dragon Ball Z niggas have them little glasses and shit that, that, that read people. <laughs> how am I supposed to, oh yeah, oh shit, oh yeah, that's a folk right there. That's a, that's a folk that be with MV Kane, you know? And I don't like MV Kane, so I should hate him. What? Oh, oh. I'm speaking hypothetically, by the way, because a lot of people are going to run with it. Oh, you say you don't like Envy Kane. I'm speaking hypothetically. I'm just speaking in the mind of a, of, of a, of a bozo, basically, like, like the bozos that be in the comment section. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Envy Kane's friend right there. Maybe, maybe, come on, bro. Like, you serious? I don't even know what you look like. How the fuck you my up, bro? I never seen you. I never had no words with you. You saying you know that, man, but I don't know you, bro. But then you're going to talk about you saw me and I ain't do nothing to you. If you saw me and I ain't do nothing to you, that means you ain't do nothing to me neither. So how the fuck you going to be trying to make me look like I'm not on shit when you the one that's not on shit? You knew me. I ain't know you. If I'm trying to show you. And y'all niggas over here holding other niggas balls. Stop meat mangling, bro. Y'all niggas be juggling niggas nuts and shit. Because I have a, a, a misunderstanding or a debate with another man, don't mean you got to come suck that nigga dick and act like you want to do something about it. Because nine times out of ten, that man don't even want to do shit about it. But you want to suck dick in the comment section and act like we got beef. We don't got no beef. I'm just doing reactions. And I'm saying how I feel. Sometimes people pay me to do their reactions and I say it's trash. Word. Some people pay me to do reactions and I cut their ass the same way. I keep a... 100. Y'all niggas don't want me to keep it 100. I don't understand. What y'all niggas want me to do? Y'all niggas want me to come on the internet and basically just say everybody shit is fire or be this nice guy. How could I be the realest reaction channel on the tube if I'm being fake? It doesn't make no sense. Then you niggas say, oh, you got favoritism. Oh, you like woo niggas better than woo. So if I like woo people better than woo people, why... Why, why do I woo people better than fool people? Why do I give certain woo niggas low ratings? Or why do I cut their ass the same way in their videos? You feel what I'm saying? Me and JD had altercation. Me and um, Cosmato had an altercation. They both woo. I met, we both, I met both of them. And they both said the same shit. Ain't no smoke. So it ain't no smoke, right? So at the end of the day... Why are you other niggas so emotional? 
that y'all wanna act, dude, is the, is the internet image mean so much to you guys that you guys have to act like y'all wanna kill anybody that say something about y'all that y'all don't like? Like, like, people are just supposed to just love you guys? Like, are you guys dumb, bro? And then you think niggas supposed to just be scared because you, 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 you show a chop in your video and you be dancing and shit? Come on, bro, nine times out of ten, it got a hundred niggas in a video and two straps only. And then when niggas got beef, they got to call the two niggas that own the strap for the strap, bro. Like, some of y'all niggas that be talking all this shooter shit don't even own the strap. How you a shooter and don't own the strap, bro? Feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit that be going on in my comment section, and it's like, damn, son. I just got to address it because some niggas just chat too much. So now that y'all know, I don't have personal issues with Certain niggas that we go like Envy Kane, for example. I don't have a personal issue with that nigga. We just had a, a back and forth. I don't really give a shit. You feel me? But at the end of the day, if niggas see me and they want to act styly, nigga, then it is what it is. Mind the move, I'm on the move. You see what I'm saying? Dumb ways. But if niggas is on some real, I mean, that shit ain't about shit. Then nigga, I'm on some that shit ain't about shit either. Because at the end of the day, I'm a man before anything. And nigga, you come for my character some type of way, nigga. I'm going to retaliate back to you that same type of way. Because I'm like that. And this is not just a YouTube nigga that be behind the camera just talking crazy, bro. I live in the hood with these niggas, bro. Some of y'all niggas got to understand that. I live in the hood with the folks. Like, I literally live in the same hood. I'm not talking about, oh, yo, I'm from Flatbush and they're from Flatbush. We're literally blocks away. Like, I'm talking about two blocks, not 10 blocks, 15, 20 blocks. We're literally two blocks away from each other, bro. I live with these niggas. So some of y'all niggas gotta catch yourself because not all these niggas be on that on that bullshit. Because I see folk niggas every day, bro. The niggas from the curb, they probably got little derelict niggas from the curb that be chilling with the little derelict niggas on the other side. They wanna pick your shit up too. But the man them on the, on the, on the curb that really about shit, them niggas don't, them niggas see me and them niggas don't be on that derelict shit, bro. Because nine times out of 10, bro, Half of these niggas used to chill with niggas on this side, bro. They used to chill over here with niggas. Feel me? Niggas was friends at one point. You feel what I'm saying? Some niggas still got that respect. And some niggas is men. Niggas like, yo, bro, I'm not about to be... Come on, bro. He arguing with this nigga. I'm about to be in they shit. What, this nigga not my fucking girlfriend. Like, what the fuck I got to defend him for? He a man. Let him defend himself. You feel me? It's not like, yo, this nigga out here shooting niggas. He just telling niggas... They song is trash. So why the fuck I'ma jump in and say I'm beefing with him now because he said a nigga song is trash. That's how some mature niggas who's really tough and like that think. But the derelict little niggas, what? He said this? Oh, he did this and this? Oh, he said Veer this? You know how much Veer niggas I know, bro? I used to ball in Veer. I grew up chilling in Veer. Half of the niggas from Veer was crip, bro. You feel me? You know how much Veer niggas I know? So I'm trying to show y'all niggas, bro. Every Veer nigga don't take this shit personal. My mans and them be seeing me. They from Veer. Niggas be like, yo, so you better stop talking about my hood like that, son. You, you, this, you spinning my hood. And they making jokes and shit. You feel what I'm saying? These niggas don't take it personal because they know the shit. When I'm talking, I'm not talking to them. It's, it's, yo, bro. It's literally like four niggas over there. That I'm directly talking to. Like four niggas. And they probably got like seven dick riders. That if I see them I'll slap them too. But it's not the whole there. I just nigga. That's they side. What the fuck you want me to say? Say ten niggas name in a song? Nigga I'm say they side. Nigga fuck you talking about. If they lived on 23rd. Right? They lived on 23rd. But not my 23rd up the block 23rd. Nigga I'd been saying them niggas side too. Like nigga. Fuck nigga. Them 23rd niggas. But everybody know I'm not talking about my 23rd niggas. I'm talking about the other 23rd niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Y'all niggas got to get this shit together. Stop being emotional, bro. If you don't got a problem with me, why the fuck you think I'm talking about you? That's what I don't understand. Niggas would not have a problem with you, but think you're talking about them. How could I be talking about you? I don't even know you, bro. I don't even know you. How the fuck I'm going to sit here and talk about you? Don't know you, bro. Who are you? Like, who are you, bro? Who are you? I don't know you. I'm be talking about you. You know what I'm saying? 
I niggas gotta get this shit. I just had to say this because it's like it's going on too much. I'm trying to be positive, but I've been feeling positive lately. I've been trying to keep it on the positive side. Y'all see I made a post today. Police still on my dick. Like, I barely be posted for long. Like, if I go outside, I chill with the dogs and probably an hour. I see the boys driving me around. I'm skits. I'm out of there, bro. You feel me? But they now, they don't see me as, as much as they used to see me because this corona shit. When they see me now, they taking advantage. Wanna hop out, wanna pull up, wanna do all that extra shit. I don't got time for that no more. So I'm on my peaceful shit because they're gonna use arguments with y'all niggas and try to paint a picture that like I'm this. You know? They already got me on some gang affiliated shit because of y'all niggas too. They think I'm fucking crit. Feel me? But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? My niggas is crib. I'm going to keep saying it till niggas get it in their head. My niggas is crib. That's who I grew up with. So obviously you're going to think I'm crib because I'm always around crib niggas. Duh. But nigga, I'm telling you I'm not crib. And my niggas never come on the internet say, yo, this nigga lying. He's crib and he don't want it. Ain't none of my homies doing that because they know I'm not crib. And they know who I want. You feel me? And who I'm fucking with. But at the end of the day, I don't know if I touched on everything I wanted to speak on. But like I said, I'm freestyle this shit. It said ain't no, ain't no scripted. I ain't write this. It's just certain shit that I was thinking about. And this is probably like the longest video I ever made. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. This is your boy Upper Class. Good.